Hi everyone, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist in the Seattle area. Just wanted to do a quick video on the different types of moisturizers. So moisturizers, you hear it has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, has petrolatum, has coconut oil. What do these all mean and what are the benefits to each ingredient? I'll go over that and go over that very quickly with you. So moisturizers uh, usually come in after your uh, serum in the morning and then you can put your uh, makeup or sunscreen over it. At night you would apply it before or after your retinoid and uh, some people who can't have, have trouble tolerating a retinoid will apply moisturizers uh, before so that it will be less harsh on the skin when you apply the retinoid. Um, the moisturizers range from an occlusive petrolatum base moisturizer called Aquaphor or Vaseline which I love a lot of creams and lotions have alcohol in it and it can burn when your skin's a little sensitive or raw from putting all these other uh, ingredients on it so this is just a really nice uh, barrier moisturizer for diaper rashes your dry skin on your face when you're wearing a PPE uh, N95 mask to help protect your facial skin. This is really nice for that. Um, things that have hyaluronic acid, that is a example of a humectant, which draws in water or fluid and it just keeps maintain, uh, maintaining the moisture level in your skin throughout the day. So hyaluronic acid is very nice. We use it as a dermal cosmetic filler. And this is a nice example of it. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel, which is my wife's favorite. This is a really nice moisturizer that's non-comedogenic, doesn't cause uh, flares of acne, and it just rubs in very nicely. And you can just tell it's just drawing in moisture and it rubs in great, okay? So there's that. Another example of a humectant is urea. Urea is in different moisturizers. I like urea uh, or Eucerin's urea. Uh, base moisturizer, the roughness relief spot treatment for hands and feet and elbows and knees that are really dry, thick skin that need to be softened. So this humectant or urea uh, will draw in moisture and help soften the surface. Also help facilitate peeling of dry, dead skin. Next, ceramides. That's a very common ingredient in moisturizers. And the classic example of a ceramide containing moisturizer would be CeraVe. So CeraVe is really nice because it has a humectant called glycerin, but also has ceramides. So ceramides are important in our epidermis because it helps maintain the lipid or fatty layer of our epidermis to maintain moisture. Imagine a brick wall that's breaking apart when you have eczema and you have bad things getting in like bacteria, fragrances, you scratch the rash and it breaks the wall further. You need something like ceramide to help maintain that skin barrier. So it's really important to have this ingredient when you have dry skin or eczema to maintain the skin barrier and retain moisture. And thus you'll have less chances of bad things uh, getting into your skin and also good things like water leaving. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Hope you all stay well, and I will be sure to make more videos on skincare. I hope this is all helpful to you, okay? Good one.